What's going on, guys? Welcome to the internet. I'm your host, Sarkon the Dragon Speaker. And we're going to draft some M19 today. And we just had a discussion about art and uh, about how I found an original Basquiat on eBay for 50 bucks. And uh, it was not an original. I didn't buy it, of course, but I got real excited at first. And I was like, oh, this is amazing. I'm going to get this. This is unbelievable, this price. And then I like did some research and I was like, this is... There's no way this is real. I'm going to take this Vivictus Asmati. Again, we've we've opened Arcades. We've opened Palladium Ores twice. Now we've opened Vivictus. And we, I think we may... No, we don't think we've opened a Chromium yet. Either way, it's a 6-6 six, six Jund, Jundi Dragon for five... Six mana. And I'm going to take it because it's very, very good. Where do I go to find your hair care routine list? What does that even mean? I don't understand the words that are coming out of your mouth right now. Uh, Runic Armosaur is pretty good. 2-5 for 3. I also like Rejuvenator to help our mana. I like Skeletal Archer. I like Instigate. This pack is just... Look at this Jun pack. We got Red, Red. Green, Green. Green. Black, Black. Red. Another Red. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 cards in our color out of 14. So tell me if I spend time every day perfecting my art of crazy and I can make millions. Uh, no. No, you cannot. Because uh, there is a, a distinct difference between uh, what Bascot did in the early 80s and what you would do as someone who's trying to copy that style. Uh, I'm going to take this Runic Armosaur. I mean, we're going to have to be we're going to have to be double the color of something. I think this card is pretty good and it blocks everything. I'm just going to take it. Oh, Declare Dominance? Oh, I'm going to take this Electrify. I I dislike playing this card, but I also dislike playing against it. So I'm just going to take the Electrify. Rise, rise from the grave and rescue my daughter. Is that... What is that? Um, Altered Beast? I wouldn't even... I would just throw a paint on a canvas and call... Well, yes, but you might have trouble selling it at that point. You can do it for you. I kind of like Rise just to get Vivictus Asmati back if it dies. That's just like having two, and we can probably get more Thornhide Wolves. Oh, Dragon's Horde? I kind of like Dragon's Horde here as like just, like just a better Manolith. Um, if Giant Spider, Foul Orchard, or Gear Per Guide come back, I'll just be fine with that. Yeah, we're going to take the Dragon. Dragon's Horde. And look, there's another Wolves. Which I think is a pretty easy pick. It's not either of these or this guy, so. Also, ramping from three to five is pretty solid. Oh, a rejuvenator. That's a great a great late rejuvenator. I always have to. Uh hold on. There's a video I constantly have to link about art, so I'm going to let you guys... I'm going to link it for a second here, and you guys can watch it. And I hope you will. Because... Um... I don't care about many of these cards. Let's just take the Child of Night for the, for the early drops. One <laughs> shell buck buckskiot. I like it. Uh, I like it so much more than I probably should. Oh, the case for. Okay, there's a whole section. This is great. All right, hold on. Give me one second, guys. I'm still looking. I'm still looking. Hmm, I feel like they're missing one. Alrighty. I like Plummet here. I like Abnormal Endurance, but I think Plummet's just a stronger card for a deck like this in the sideboard. Have you watched Ristic Studies? Yeah, I love... Yeah, Sam is great. Oh, wow. Alright. Eh, not gonna play that, but... It's, in, it's the only card in our color. 
right, hold on. I'm gonna find this. Uh, it's very, it's very important. Root Snare has actually been good for us. So I think we're base black green and we're splashing the red. Uh, no, you don't draft commander sets. They're just pre-packaged. So like you can just go to Walmart and buy them. Oh, wow. Yeah, let's take a Banefire. Uh, do I have a favorite literature pair? Modern? I think it's modern. I, I appreciate modern literature more than older, older literatures. Looking. It changes as you change. But that expansiveness can also... God, I love art. Um, hold on. It might actually be my favorites. Let me check my favorite twos. Don't start playing automatically. Oh, perfect. This is it. Yes. This is a, this is a video uh, by... Uh, it's a YouTube channel called The Art Assignment. And the, the video is called I Could Do That. Actually, I don't know if that link's going to work. Because it might be in my, my favorites list. Let me try the share button instead. See if I can get a more accurate link. And you know, I'm also going to leave it in the YouTube video... Yeah, that's that's the oh wow! Do we just get double dragons? Ooh, with a dragon's horde no less. This deck is gas. Guess we're splashing white too, boys. I highly recommend you guys watch that video. It's called uh, "I Could Do That" by the Art Assignment. Yeah, I'm gonna take this. I like another Rejuvenator. I also like this land because now we got a we need a white. I also don't mind Vivian's Invocation because uh, putting one of these guys into play off of this is much more like yeah we're gonna take this and then it's gonna fight something. Yeah, that seems good. That seems better than like Archer or Rejuvenator here. This deck is almost sweeter than our deck yesterday, which is pretty good. I'm gonna take this two drop because we want to be able to survive. I don't think we need a six drop, and I don't like Fell Spectre, so. I like another Child of Night here. Uh, I don't think I've seen Tuvasa the Sunlit. Was there a Rabbit Bite? Do I just miss Rabbit Bites? I think I might not have. I mean, I might be blind to Rabbit Bites. I'm gonna take the Child of Night. I, just, I, 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 I think the only thing our deck cares about doing is surviving. Invocation is meh with double dragons. That's interesting. One one, it gets one one for each enchantment you control and recast your enchantment. That's pretty good. Um, I don't know what to take here. It's probably just nothing. Oh, Rupture Spire is exactly what this deck wants. Yes, I will take a Rupture Spire. <clears throat> yes, please. Uh, Elvish Clan Caller doesn't do anything. I guess this guy gets bigger. It's pretty boring. I'm just going to take the Invoke for the sideboard. Forsaken Sanctuary. That's also nice because white is our splash. Uh, and also we don't need black for this. So if we play this, it doesn't actually hurt our... We're not going to need black and white for this guy. 
I'll take Titanic Growth. Sure. Oh, another Forsaken Sanctuary. Wow, that's pretty good. Yeah, I'd rather have a second for a second sanctuary than a third child of night. It's a late snapping Drake. Eh, Hired Blade is not ideal, but it is fine. Take this guy. Spider View, have a good night, buddy. <clears throat> oh, Lightning Strike is nice. Luminous Bond's also good, but I'm going to try to minimize the amount of uh, white cards we're playing by by probably one. I like Dragon Egg, especially with Dragon Horde, but I think we just want Lightning Strike here. We have we don't have that much removal, and that's some solid removal. So, <laughs> Dragon Horde number two. Oh, all right. Well, that's a thing, I guess. The old double dragon, double Dragon Horde deck. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I would like to take this shock, but I don't think it competes with double dragons horde. It's not legendary either, so we can just put gold counters on both of these things. Wow. Gift of Paradise, also pretty good for what we're trying to do. And I think it's still better than any of these other cards in the pack. Yeah, we're just gonna play Gift here. This is a deck where if we can survive... Also, with double dragons horde and Gift of Paradise, do we just play the Psychic Symbiont? We also have a Rupture Spire. So this is actually four sources of blue already. I don't know, man. This card, this deck seems... We can also Rise from the Grave it. This card seems great. I'm going to take this. Mm, reassembling Skeleton. That'll help us survive. I actually like the Skeletal Archer better, though. I just, with double Dragon's Horde, double Forsaken Sanctuary, and a Rupture Spire, I don't really think we need any more lands. I don't want a fourth land that comes into play tapped. Yeah, I think this guy's better than the the Skeleton. And we have a Banefire. This deck is nuts, dude. Look at our rares. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. Oh, I'll just take the, I'll take the Luminous Bonds now, especially with a second Dragon Horde and a Gift of Paradise. What is your deal? Do you want another Nilla Wafer? Yeah, that's a decent removal. And we got an option to have another reassembling skeleton. I'll just take that guy. Oh, Lich's Caress? <clears throat> yeah, that's pretty good. Alright. So this is our deck, basically. We get to cut one thing. Hired Blade comes out. Yep. All right. Well, that's pretty good. I want to take the Abnormal Endurance. If uh, if the client doesn't freeze on me right at this exact moment, you have to be kidding me. Please don't. Please don't do this. Please no. Well, we got the Mind Rot, but it, the client's working, so that's the important part. Okay, well, <laughs> I'm going to take this gallant. Actually, I'll just take the third child of night. Oh, thank God. I was really concerned that our draft was going to freeze. Uh, I'm not going to take Manolith. I'll just take Dwarven Priest. This deck looks pretty nuts. My only concern is having the three dragon swords. Stone Quarry is playable. Catalyst Elemental is playable. It might have been a bump in the internet. An old internet bump, if you will. Yeah, we're going to go one Stone Quarry, one Rupture Spire, one Forsaken Sanctuary. I don't want four lands to come into play tapped. This is not a lot of forests. Sort by color. All right. So, one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven. We can probably go to six here. Four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't think we want an island for anything. I don't think we care about an island for this guy. We have two dragon swords and a rupture spire. And a gift of paradise. Oh, we have gift of paradise too. Yeah, that's pretty fine. Uh, I don't even think we want a planes either. Again, we have one, two, three, four, five. So yeah, that's not reasonable. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Five. I'm going to up you. Six, seven, eight. This is 13. We get one more land. We actually want another green. Four. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, that's that's where we want to be. Done. So on turn four, we have Gift, Rejuvenator, Dragon Sword, Dragon Sword to ramp us to five, and then ideally six. Keep this hand. No green, but that's fine. I mean, we don't need swamps for black two drops, though. Like, we have... For second Sanctuary is also an option, so we have six sources that come into play on turn one. Wow, Luminous Bonds on a Child of Night. That is fascinating. I will block. No? Okay. Okay. This guy. Should have played a black source here just because uh, if we... If this guy dies, we could get him back the same turn. That's pretty good. Get rid of the Luminous Bonds. And now we're going to Luminous Bonds this guy. So, one, two, three. One, two, three. Luminous Bonds you. And we'll play Rupture Spire. One, two, three, four. I'm just going to archer this guy. Look at this Emrakul. Are you guys seeing the Emrakul that, go, that's, that floats over when it's on the stack? Because that's kind of funny. Okay. You got it. Man, all these X ones are fantastic. Archer. Timberwolves? Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Just gonna attack with both these guys. If you wanna block, totally fine. <laughs> Archer has been good against everything in their deck so far. Except for demanding dragon, which is fine. Three, four, five. They could triple block here. I'm fine with that. Wow. I mean, we're trying to put them into Bane Fire range, is really what's happening here. One, two, three. This guy. I feel like we're okay at 16. Oh, nothing. Interesting. Interesting. So 
So one, two, three, four, five. We can we can for six. I'd rather just play this and do some cool stuff. <laughs> Kill your guy, draw a card, you discard a card. Seems good. <laughs> it's gas. Oh boy. Magic's a good game. Settle the wreckage. That is not going to do it. You're just basically dead right now. Unless you have Rejuvenate. But then you don't have an answer for this guy in the air. So you're... Actually, can we just attack here? This guy gets through. Then you go block, 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 and you take four. I feel like they're definitely playing the um, the go wide token deck. Bane fires ready. So that being the case, we're going to probably bring in Child of Night for the life and Root Snare for the trickies. It's tricky. I don't know where we're, where we're cutting though. This guy's also just good to this. This guy blocks all day. Maybe our deck is just naturally good against theirs. Oh, we can take the Rise out and bring in Root Snare. Oh, Rise can get back their dragon, though. Phylos, you out of here, buddy? Have a good afternoon. Um, also, Plummet is good for the dragon, too, but... What, what answers do we have for the dragon? We have Banefire, Vivian's Invocation, maybe, Lich's Caress, um, and Luminous Bonds. I think we just got lucky with the Luminous Bonds. We might just want Plummet. Yeah, I like plumbing better. Double Dragon Sword? Yeah, I'm going to keep this hand. Any land, uh, and this hand is amazing, because it lets us play our black card and our Dragon Sword. Yeah, that's fine. Sure. Like, all three of these get cast with one land, and we also get... Two two drops that are very, very good against this uh, aggressive. Oh, that's that's a thing, isn't it? Well, this is a combo. Tucker, like have a good night, buddy. Enjoy your health care and your low rent. No blocks. Oh boy. Oh boy, we're having a good time with this. Don't whiff. Uh, second black seems more relevant here. I want to be able to double block this guy. We can just it's the funny the sad thing is we can never outrace this. Actually, next turn we can we can kill it if we hit a land. We can double block here and kill this guy with a land. Oh boy. Never mind. They're doing all this with two mana, no less. That's pretty good.
I've never seen Fountain of Renewal do this much work in my life. I guess when you go uncommon, 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 uncommon with two lands. Yep, no blocks. Well, Skeleton's not a bad blocker, but it's going to take some time to get it online. Also, they're both out of range of... Like, Lich's Caress would be great here. Oh, I see. How nice. Yep. Go to three. Any land here, we could have played this. We could have played uh, other things. Of course, we're not dead. And we have to double block. But Vivian's Invocation... The, the biggest creature we have is a 6-6, six, six, which means we can't actually kill either of the Pride Mates, which is super frustrating. Yeah, we kept it. Why would we ever take out Bonds? That doesn't make any sense. Yep. This is ridiculous. Seriously? Come on. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh boy. All right. Well, that'll do. Go to four. We can play nothing else after that. All right. Well, let's hope you don't get that draw again, I guess. I almost like invoke here over like maybe one of the dragon's hordes. And we saw multiple things. We saw the fountain and we saw the other thing. And the fountain in that in the matchup was utterly broken. Uh, I'll keep this hand. We need, we need a green here and a red, but any land gets us Dragon Sword, which gets us Rejuvenator. So... I got I got my fingers crossed. Yep, here we go again. Okay. Let's see if our sick tech loses in round one again. Here's uh here's open. Alright, that's just fine. Forest. Cool. Alright. Well, here we go. 17 lands, gift, rejuvenator, dragon sword, dragon sword is not enough. We're not dead yet. Don't kill this guy. They're like, do I electrify this child of night? I don't know. Wow. <laughs> that is aggressive. All right, now we're good. Seems nice. Um, get that dude out of here. All right, so they're missing. Oh, here we go. This is where they play Demanding Dragon, and we just have to sacrifice archers because I want to go to seven. And we really have no answer for it. 
Oh, just lava axe to the face. Holy smokes. All right. Well, we're going to go one, two, three. Gift on here. Oh, we got to pay a green for that, don't we? I'll do that. One, two, three. Gift on this guy. And green, green. This guy. I feel like Rejuvenator is probably better here because it puts us... One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we'll just get a forest. All right, so we got the mana going. Oh, look, if it isn't our friend. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven mana. Actually, I'm not going to play Rupture Spire here. I'm just going to play this and electrify this guy. Before they have a chance to, like, Mighty Leap it and give it a plus one, plus one, or... All right, I feel like we're making a recovery at least. Shoot it right in the head right damn now. Yeah, that's... Yeah, I'll just sack this guy. Do we risk it for the biscuit? I don't think so. Not with a 5-5. Five, five. Uh, one, two... Two, three, four, five... Don't have Mighty Leap. You didn't. Play this. Use me Dragon's Horde. I'm going to assume you don't have Hasty Guys. That's my assumption. Thanks a lot, Rejuvenator. Yep, that is fine. I accept. Vivian's Invocation should 100% kill this. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, let's get this guy. Put a counter on that. Shoot your guy. All right. Seems good. Act of Treason doesn't do it. I guess Act of Treason Lava Axe kill us. <laughs> but five, six, they, go, they just go land Act of Treason Lava Axe. Oh, we just win the game. All right. Woof. This guy off the top, and then we still had two ways to cast it. We would have drawn a card from Dragon's Horde as well, hit the land. Um, we would have s chosen permanence. We would have chosen uh, like a land for us. And would have, what is it? Reveal? And then... Uh, reveal... Can you get out of the way? This player sacrifices this turn. Each player sacrifice reveals the top card of their library and then puts that on the battlefield if it's permanent. So would have, re would have revealed a forest. Don't know what they would have revealed. All right. Well, seems good. Oh, uh, this hand seems great. I will keep it. See, we have dragons. Where's the snow mountains? My god, you guys in this this dragon scred are obsessed. Oh my god, me and Gabby are battling. Ian, what's going on, buddy? Good seeing you, friendo. All 
All right. Well, I look at that, I added a, bene a, a B, so it says Benoa Tax. <laughs> Dragon's Horde. <laughs> Sent a message. I would have appreciated it. Oh, good times. Yep, definitely not checking to see if Gabby's streaming because she is probably 100% streaming. And you can tell because Ian is in our chat. So, uh, I will take all of this. They have two. She has two. They. I was going to say they. She has two cards, huh? All right. So, Spider just shuts down, shuts it all down, right? And then next time we can play, play old Palladium Wars. Let's go, Star. Yeah, definitely not doing that. Rude. The rudest. Our hand is pretty good. Just host a stream while you play. Seems solid. All right. Well, we're gonna do it. You can you can jump, you can negs, do what you gotta do. Get sooty. Boom ba ba boom ba ba boom ba ba boom boom. Palladium Mars. She is not playing the take turn staff. That much I'll tell you. That sounds like a joke. So I, I appreciate that. Don't 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 make sure no one actually comes here and 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 tells me what Gabby's playing because that's not cool. Um, this guy's got Vidge. Hexproof Arena, huh? Um, let's draw a card. We can play both of these, which is pretty good for ground for ground battles. It's just two cards in hand, huh? I kind of do want to hit a land here. This guy's not really pulling his weight yet. Or we can just play Big Thorn Hide Wolves. Let's do that. Mm. I guess we'll attack first. We have Vigilance. I ain't afraid of no ghosts. Where did my hexproof go? Where did, <clears throat> where did my hexproof go? I had it and now it's gone. So this guy gains life, this guy gains life, this guy gained a life, and this guy will gain life again in the future. That is quite the amount of things. Wow, that's... You just keep getting ruder. Why why are you the way that you are, Gabby? Watching both streams at the same time and this is something else. <laughs> oh man, good times. All right. Okie dokie. Uh, so one, two, you don't have enough, you don't have a lot of power here, so we can probably just play a bunch of things. One, two, three, we'll rejuvenate. Oh, let's get this stone quarry. That's a good one. And we're probably just going to play Skeletal Archer here. Shoot you in the face. See the Emrakul again? Yep. 
We are at eight. We do need some life gain here. Do we have any life gain in our deck? We have another dragon and a Vivian's Invocation and a Psygonic Symbiont, which are all very good draws here. Jun Dragon to blow up the Bonds would be pretty sick. I would also take a Vivian's Invocation into a Jun Dragon. Which, odds are pretty high. I mean, you get to you get to see the top seven out of... Uh, presumably, we draw the Vivian's Invocation, which puts us at 23, which is basically a third of the deck. So it's 33% chance of hitting. Gift of Paradise is pretty good. That is, It ramps us for Banefire, and it also gives us uh, some life that we might need. My god. Just stop it. So we got a six here, and then we go to five? Ugh. We're going to have to Bonds one of these Flyers, unfortunately. Maybe Bonds one, kill the other. We put Invocation on the bottom as well? Oh, man. Dang it. Intriguing. Is this a Mighty Leap turn? If it's Mighty Leap, you probably just want to... You don't, don't even give me the chance to block. Just, just do it. Okay. I accept. Oh, no! Yeah, that was fine. Not ideal, but... Not the worst. Wow, Michael Barbabibu, whose name is literally based on a stream meme of ours, is rooting for our opponent. That is really something. So, one, two, three, one, two. We can actually just kill both of these. And then we're on five turn clock. I think we just have to do that. I guess we'll pay a white for it. <laughs> Seems good. All right, so now we're just on the, the neonate avoiding plan. Oh my God, the life gain is so real, dude. going to block both. Something useful. Yep, not useful. All right, I think we're dead here. We go to three, then we go to two. She has three creatures. Yep. That'll do. All right. Okay. So we're bringing in the plummet for sure. Yeah, we definitely flooded out. We have like 19 lands. So eh, what can you do? Bring an invoke here. Um, real time to just take out a land to be quite honest. Yeah, we're going to live dangerously. Board in two cards, take out one land. I mean, we have... 
gift dragon dragon so I think drag dry green seeker would be insane in this in this deck I agree with you This hand's pretty rough. I mean, we wanted three lands, but not three forests, especially when we have a great blue card, a great red card, and a great black card in hand. Uh, this is actually much better. I will keep this. Uh, I'm going to put you on the bottom. I don't think you're going to be that relevant. And I'd much rather have a... Uh, a 2-1 is not great against her, her army of 1-3s, unfortunately. All right, we did it. Looks like we made it. Oh, intriguing. I'm going to play Gift first because uh, if she has, like, Invoke, I'd rather her kill a Gift than the Dragon's Horde. One, two, three, four, five, six. Solid draw. Stagums. One, two, three. We can actually we can actually luminous bonds this guy. That seems pretty good. Dragon's horde into Bondum. So we have two cards, she has seven, but next, if we any land lets us hit Vivian's Invocation, which should be pretty sick, we have Flyer Flyer Symbiont in deck, Dragon Dragon Symbiont in deck. Yeah, all the dragons hit this, which is pretty sweet. This is really, she liches caresses this Thornhide Wolves. Understandably so. Oh, just just double bonds. I see, I see. Uh, one, two. I guess we're just playing this guy as a dude, right? Because we can't do anything else, and I really don't want to not have pressure. So, plus after the point, it's a five-turn clock. <laughs> Nicely done. Um. One, two, three, four. Kill this. Play this guy. This is a heck of a back and forth right here. land oh all right sure we'll just keep doing this these things now we got the three turn clock we've drawn a lot of removal we've drawn luminous bonds electrify and lich's caress this game so Don't do it. Dang. 
I almost want to wait till she plays something to Vivian's invocation because she's. <sighs> I want to get the value out of it. Like if if she just has a removal spell for whatever we hit, I don't really want to just lose our creature. I guess we should have played the land though. Macabalts for Angel and Epicure. Yeah, see, this is good. Well, that's that's also good. Come on, dragons. Huh? Well, that's actually not the worst. Because we can still kill this guy. <laughs> it's kind of comical. Well, at least we know that we have a uh, symbiont and two dragons close to the to the somewhere in the deck. I don't know. Yep. Going to plummet this. Just have all the things. Oh, let's just do that, I guess. One, two. B -b -b bane fire. You'll get caught up in the bane fire. Oh my goodness, our deck is cool. I mean, you're very well that game, but. Yep, gonna mulligan this hand too. All right, well, actually we probably could have taken a Child of Night out. Can we both mulligan? That'd make me feel better. Oh, keep. Oh, yes, keep all day. <laughs> this hand is great. Mm. I'm going to put that guy in the bottom. We really want proactive things. Like, a 3-3 three, three is great, but it doesn't kill many of the cards in her deck. All right. That's pretty good. Oh, actually, Runic Armasaur with Vampire Neonate is fantastic. Wow, that's cool. Two smart, funny, and good-looking magic players clashing like you do. <laughs> oh, wow. We're going to Runic Armasaur all day here. Uh, I'll take two. Get I'll take two, Gooby. Uh, I guess we're gonna rejuvenate here. Actually, one, two, three, four. We're gonna play. We're gonna play Horde because if we draw another land, we're just gonna play Vavictus. I draw another Horde. If we draw another land, is what I meant to say. I really dislike that she has Strangling Spores in hand, and we have no real way to get around it. Why don't I attack with this guy too if you have... Sp oh, because it's neck three, neck three. Yeah, I'll just keep taking two then. Come on, feel the noise. Dragons up in your face. Mono dragons up in this deck, yeah. So you're gonna tap this guy down, which is fine. We're just gonna get rid of this on the on the return. This also gains us three, which puts us in nice position. Pos position.
Yep. Um, yeah, we'll just block here. I'll take five. We have gift in hand. Um, zip, 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 zip. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Pretty sure we just play Symbiont and Sack of Forest, right? Oh, we can actually. We don't have the mana for that. We don't have a blue end. So I guess we just play Gift. One, two, three. Well, there's a Palladium Wars there, and that's unfortunate. This is a scary ability because they could hit something much worse than we hit. We hit a we hit a skeleton, they hit a nightmare's thirst. Alright, so we just came out way ahead there. <laughs> Wow, we just killed their Starcrown Stag and got a got a skeleton out of the deal, which we can actually bring back this turn if we want to. That's pretty cool. So we really should have strangling soot in hand. I'm always tempted to just block with this guy to make her make her use it. Seems fine. I mean, if we don't, yeah, if we don't block with this guy, I'm definitely drawing. If we end up blocking with this guy, I'm just going to bring him back this turn. Also, skeleton value with Vivixus is pretty insane. So we're just going to eat this, and uh, if she doesn't have... If she wants to use spores on the Rejuvenator, that's totally fine. <laughs> I just saw this thing and I was talking about how awesome this deck looked with Palladium and Bane Fire and <laughs> Doomsrake. Uh, glad you think so, buddy. Oh, for... Yeah, all right. That is just fine. Capture them skeletons, those are all... Actually, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think we're just playing this and keeping up Lightning Strike. Yikes! <laughs> well, we know Palladium Wars is on the bottom now, but I guess we can always not care about that. Um, why are we getting rid of lands? We have a, a, a reassembling skeleton here. A Johnny's Primate? Sure. Um, I guess we just shoot your face. Yeah, we can just kill the Pride Man here. Hmm. 
I like this vampire neonate never activating because of our runic armasaur. That's pretty solid. Um, yes, I'll allow this. Let's kill that guy right off the bat. Does that kill you? <laughs> I don't think it kills you, but we're getting pretty close. Yeah, I guess we can just pass here. <laughs> Our hand is pretty gas. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, well. This is the this is my preemptive uh preemptive GG's message. Archers do, 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 do. Actually, I don't know why I'm apologizing. Uh, I guess I'm sorry because I'm way, way ahead. Yeah, unless they draw a flyer here, I think we're just fine. We didn't even get reassembling skeleton back because we're so bad at magic. Uh, let's get rid of the red here and your guy. Oh, they got the angel. Yeah, we're just going to kill that. What did we hit? Nothing? So they block here. They take. She takes eight. All right. I can never tell. Like, I don't want to be like, hey, good games, because I won. And I don't. I never want to, like, I never want to say it, because I don't know how bad people feel when they lose. So, I, I don't know. Like, Gabby, you're great. Still love you, buddy. All right. All right, let's do it. Get that trophy, boy. Meh. <laughs> oh, Michael Barbabu, your name is literally from my stream. This hand is great. Turn two, turn three. Just remember she likes Tron. Oh, man. Oh, Mono Brown Fart Attacks. That is a heck of a name. I'm a fan of Mono Brown Fart Attacks. I don't foresee you having a counterspell for this, considering Essence Scatter does not do it and Counterspell Cancel does not do it. Uh, well, where's where's me manners? His manners? Where are all y'all manners? I'm probably just gonna play Archer here.
Actually, maybe Archer is better. Maybe this guy's worse than Archer in this matchup. I don't know. I think they're going to cancel or Essence Scatter whatever we play. They're playing a blue deck and they haven't dealt with anything we've played. So, sure. There you go. I claim 10 subs as War Spoils. Oh, man. Sure. Sure. I'm always thrilled about the scholar with no uh, with no card draw. That's always a cool place to be. Take a look, it's in a book. Reading Rainbow. Really? All right. So if they counter the archer, uh, black black these two, this guy counter. You have to counter this, otherwise it's just so bad. Oh no, not my bones! You better not have told Gabby that. You wouldn't do that. You're a nice dude at heart, Jeff. Two dragons, an invocation, two hordes, a banefire, an armosaur, a Fred armosaur. Take a look, it's in a book, it's reading a rainbow. I mean, we're just going to do this. I know it's going to get countered, but what what our alternative is? Sit around and do nothing? God, that's so annoying, dude. You've played four spells this game. One of them is a terrible creature and three others are counter spells. <clears throat> oh, that's that's good. I guess we're going to bond to that guy. I roll. What is our opponent? What's what's their record? Does it say? I feel like it would have come up when we played when we won the match, but or when the match started rather, but it doesn't look like it did. All right, late in attack. Good for you. Oh boy, the Victus Asmati off the top. Eh, Electrify is not terrible. All right. Well. Nice card. <laughs> that should set them straight. Yeah, let's do that. I could just be like, nice cards, butt munch. That ought to do it. I want to keep this Thornhide Wolves on board because of Evictus Asmati. It's very easy to hit this dwindle. Really? The Evictus off the top. Give me that Victus. Oh, that's good. Let's kill this guy. Almost immediately. One, two, three, four, five. See you later, bye. Sure. I believe you mean B-U-T space T munch. Oh, boy.
If we attack for one and they attack for six each turn, do we win that race? I don't think so. I haven't done the math, but I don't. It doesn't feel right. Mono brown fart attacks. Thank you so much for the <laughs> worth it. Just so I can say that, appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. Well, that's pretty cool. One, two, three, four. Gonna put this spider on the floor. Oh, wow. What do we have left? We have a lightning strike. They're probably just going to use this immediately, right? Oh, just a dwindle number two. Seems good. We have lightning strike. We have... That might be it, actually. Well, Lightning Strike is going to get this guy, unfortunately, but not until next turn. Oh, we have Banefire, but that doesn't do anything because it's Chaos Wand. Rise! <laughs> Yay! You hit a Rise. That's great. Well, we're definitely bringing in Invoke. They have Dwindle, Dwindle, Luminous Bonds. Archer? Over the Frill Sea Serpent? Interesting. Not sure that's the direction I would have went, but... I feel like Sea Serpent is better. I mean, you miss a turn, but like... I don't know. What do I know? Yeah, we're just going to go to the next game. We got a, Well, we have a bunch of blockers, but... <sighs> we're not dead yet. Mm, we're getting closer now. Cool. That's a Wifferino. You got it. You'll get caught up in the bane fire. So long, sweet prince. Yep, that's not going to do it. All right. Oh, look, the very next card. That would have been nice. Okay, Invoke comes in. Um, I feel like Mind Rot's probably reasonable here. Child of Night's kind of meh. I think we just do 41. We only saw one flyer from them. I will play first. I will keep this hand. We're missing a red, but we have plenty of ways to make that happen, so... It 
Plus, this Doom Descender is probably going to get there. Okay, so Omen Speaker tells me that this guy's probably not going to get there. It's going to be a Dragon Sword into a thing. Okay, well, that's not what we're looking for, but... Fell asleep watching Emma's Scene Drift, so it's basically like we had a sleepover without you know, and totally not weird. No, that's not weird at all. Okay, well... Alright, so it was bound to happen. We just get to a point where, like... We can't do anything. And they're probably just gonna have Counterspell Man up before we actually get a chance to... <laughs> sure. Nice hit. Sweet child of night. Ooh, yeah. So there's no card we can draw that lets us play this next turn, unfortunately. Rupture Spire needs to come and play Tempt. Dragon's Horde can be countered. Gift can be countered. One, two, three, four. How about this guy? Is this thing you care about? I guess you can just Lich's Caress it, right? Chaos Wand and the Lich's Caress, that's where you want to be? Sure, just cancel my spider. Spider, you've been canceled! Yeah. Oh god, my phone just fell over everything. I think we're dead here. I do not feel good about our odds here. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Mind Rot. Friggin' fantastic. Hoisted by our own petard. God, we just can't win a match in this. We can't win a draft in this format, man. Just gonna get more aggressive here. Now I'm afraid they're gonna hit Rise and they're gonna get Psychic Symbiont back, which is pretty good for them. Um, I guess one problem is that, or one you know one solution to playing all our cards is that we don't have anything to discard, which is nice. But they still get a three-three flyer that draws them a card. Oh, Lightning Strike. All right. I mean, eventually I'll be out of spells, right? Also, we have Vivian's... Oh, God, we have Vivian's Invocation in the deck, too. I forgot about that. Yeah, Chaos Wand's pretty, pretty busted. Sure. Why doesn't this guy trigger for artifacts? Just lands and creatures? Obviously you have Essence Scatter. Yep. I have no idea we're not just keeping Chaos Wand up.
Oh my god. And of course they have wand out, so we can't actually use the ability of Evictus, which is sad. Also doesn't have haste, which is also sad. I would say I'm tempted to take out all the instants and sorcerers from our deck, but boy, that's a lot. All right, so ox on ox action. This costs one to activate, holy smokes. Now you just hope to hit Rise and then you can get Vivictus Asmati. That's pretty good. Really, that's what you play that instead of keeping up Chaos Wand when you know we have Rise? This is very strange. These are some really weird decisions. Eight mana, we can seven them with Banefire. <laughs> whatever good that for whatever good that does. I guess we'll just play Archer here. I don't want to Banefire because if they do end up hitting Rise, which they undoubtedly will, I want to have an answer for it. Alternatively, if they get Psychic Symbiont back with Rise, I don't foresee them doing that. Mentor of the Meek. What in the earth? So you have, you have, I saw two scholars, a snapping drake, a frilled sea serpent. This is very strange. There's the rise. You have to get dragon, right? Oh, you get the psychic symbiont, because of course you do. Significantly worse. <laughs> Sure. That's amazing. That's weird to me. So let's go block here, block here. We don't have any profitable attacks, really. <laughs> sure. So that's it, then. That's the last of them, I guess. You killed that over the Dragon's Horde? Weird. All right, so now we just have to play a fair game of magic, I guess. You play that without having mana up to draw the extra... What is going on here? So we have a Pladium Wars left in our deck.
There's nothing left. You already saw it all. Like, we started with Invoke. What are the odds they have cancel number two in hand? A thousand percent? I don't actually know what we have left in our deck that can win us the game, unfortunately. Symbionts in the graveyard, Vivicus is in the graveyard. Yep. Uh, Megathopter. Another super sweet deck that we can only manage to 2 1 with. Super frustrating. Yep, cool. When I draw lands, you draw spells. Lands, spells, lands, spells. We should scoop. Palladium Wars gets one hit, then Ox. Why would we, why would we scoop, though? So it does get a hit though, and we're at 28. <laughs> Megathopter, make my guy unblockable, draw a card. Okay. Buddy Lee, thanks so much for the sub, but welcome back. Draw two cards. Maybe they just deck themselves. Is that an option? <laughs> That's fantastic. Oh, I love Magic the Gathering. It's definitely one of my favorite trading card games that I spend my time, most of my time, playing. Or, you know, watching. I get to watch people play it sometimes. That's cool. Like right now, I'm watching Rex Rose play Magic the Gathering. That's fun. We're having a good time. Interesting decision. Oh, you're going to make it unblockable. Congratulations. It's okay, they only have five cards in hand. Cool. Yep, all right, and that's the end. All right, well, unfortunately, despite our deck being super sweet, uh, we only get to go 2-0, and... Uh, such is life, I guess. Such is Magic the Gathering Online. So thank you guys so much for watching. really appreciate it. If you guys want to support me and uh, lift my spirits after this uh, demoralizing loss, feel free to check out my Twitch profile or my Patreon page. Both of the links are in the description below. And uh, thank you guys for watching. really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I will see you guys next time.